Hello everyone, my name is Gus. Hi, I'm Woody. And today we have a video that neither one of us has seen. Mm -hmm. Somebody sent us a link to this video and said you guys have to react to this one, but don't watch it first. So I have no idea what's in the video. All I know is the title. The title is Inventions That Allow Us To Live On The Water. So I assume it's a bunch of nonsense. I feel like I'm transitioning to be able to live underwater <laughs> the more I'm underwater. But I could be wrong. All, All right, right, let's it give it a let's shot. Let's go, go, go. Pearl Diver. All right. Anyone with at least some experience in scuba diving knows what a scuba regulator is. But it features two stages. One is attached to the cylinder. The diver breathes through the other. What Pearl is Diver this? is also a scuba regulator, but a bit different. The position of the hose wow. allows easy movement in the water as well as releasing bubbles towards the back of the diver's head, not it's, to obstruct the view. How if is, you've is it tried scuba diving, make air from the it makes fresh air from the water, I guess. What? Because otherwise, if you're breathing in and out of something, it's a rebreather, and I don't see a CO2 scrubber. But I don't know. I'm not ready to judge anything. I don't know. I don't. I mean, the this, only way something like that can work is making air from the water, right? I have no idea. But this, I don't know. This looks like complete and utter nonsense. Like this <coughs> no video idea. has to be like an April Fool's joke. Like this is. And we're we're just thirty seconds in, and this makes no sense. Already. Would you try that device? Absolutely not. I would immediately in a pool. So if they want right. to send me one to swim around in a pool and breathe, no, it doesn't I'm even have a brand on the Photoshop pictures. They right. didn't but even if bother. If you do to have a brand, brand and that device exists, I'm your guy. No, the... this could be a real issue. Pearl Diver also has a nice futuristic design and streamlined shape. Yep. However, not only divers who explore the underwater world would appreciate devices like that. They'd come in handy for hyperbaric right. welders who repair ships, pipelines, or Stop offshore it. oil platforms. This is really challenging and dangerous work. What is First, this? you stay deep underwater. That is, there's always a risk of decompression sickness. Second, there's a risk of an electric shock for the welder. To avoid it, the equipment must be completely insulated. But even emergencies aside, there could be different consequences for health, the changes in muscles, bones. In short, not everyone is fit for this job. Exolove. Oh my God. People will hardly grow gills in the next million years. Well, they don't have to because we already have Exolove. Exo Actually, it's an endless breathing device for diving, which doesn't. Okay, that's a rebreather. With a hose attached to the surface. It's like a surface supply rebreather, I guess. I don't know. Don't rely on any <laughs> external energy sources. All Exo Lung needs is the movement of the swimmer plus a small buoy that stays on the surface. Extending That's it? and retracting the legs, let the air into the device through oh, the hose okay. and from there to the lungs. You move, you breathe. What? You don't move. Well, the hose is quite short, only 16 feet long, so the diver can resurface quickly. What could possibly yeah, go wrong? Lung weighs only 7.7 .7 pounds. That's it. Dive portable lungs. <laughs> this is another device for those who want to dive without fiddling around with heavy, bulky scuba gear. Dive what? portable lungs is a diving. The, this is for people who don't want heavy, big <laughs> scuba gear and also want to die. <laughs> Kit that fits easily into a backpack and includes a pump with a cylinder. The cylinder, as you already oh realized, God. is filled with oxygen through a hand pump. Nope. The it's oxygen not. supply will be enough for about half an hour underwater. No, so that's not. Right. Half an hour. Option. No, you but, could pump it. That's okay, no wait. problem that you could pump air into a scuba cylinder. But it's not oxygen. But the point is. Not oxygen. They always do that. The it's point air. is that that bottle was <clears throat> at most like six to nine cubic feet at most. And he said, you can stay on the water for 30 minutes. I What? I, send me one. I bet you I can stay underwater at 20 feet on that for 30 minutes. No way. Oh, bet. Not even okay. you. Okay. Nope. Here we go. No chance. Who wants to see nope. me stay underwater with that size bottle Yeah. filled all the way up uh -huh. at 20 feet, no deeper than 20, Okay. for, for 30, 30 minutes. minutes? No chance. <laughs> no way. No chance. I will buy Remember it. Remember the words he said. I'm just sitting here going, he said, no chance, no way. Yeah. Anything else? Any That's other things you want to impossible. put your foot in your mouth? Impossible. I think. Dive portable Can't wait to try it. more than enough for exploring some lake, the bottom of a river, or the sea near the coast. Most importantly, the cylinder can always be refilled. Just have to resurface mm -hmm. and do a little pumping. I can't That's wait it. for my 30-minute dive on it. Definitely come in handy for golf ball divers. 
On good golf courses, you can find reservoirs, including really deep ones, Send and me the one. balls periodically end up there. And once the balls get lost, they need to get them back. This is what golf ball divers do. They dive into the water and recover everything that ended up there. Of course, in Florida, you know what else is in those waters? Oh, boy. Though each time, they have to take this <laughs> giant you. cylinder with air, which can weigh 44 pounds on land. It'd be much easier to use a small kit, right? Waterproof no. pouch case. Remember, we have a bet. What? What? A, it's 30 minutes, no deeper than 20 feet. I don't have to move or anything. I just have to be able to breathe. What do I get? What's the prize? It doesn't matter. You're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. What do I get? Money? Let's, it you want to put cash up? or It doesn't matter because you will not do it. Yeah, I'm just saying cash would be nice. Oh I could use some. Okay. We'll the talk only about thing that. missing to enable free diving at any time and in any place is a waterproof smartphone. Or at least a waterproof case uh, so you can take devices and everything you need to almost any reasonable depth. Moreover, this particular case not only protects the smartphone from water, it allows you to use all its functions. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you probably won't be able to make a call from the seafloor, but taking photos is now easy. The material of the case has a nice feel to it and doesn't prevent the touchscreen from a bunch recognizing of those already touches. Out. The only downside new. is the touch ID. Plus the iPhone now is waterproof, isn't it? The 14? Space waterproof to a certain depth? Yeah. Why not camp underwater? Oh this thought God. prompted National Geographic researcher Michael Lombardi oh. and New York University professor Winslow Burleson to create Ocean Space Habitat. Yep. What looks Those like exist. a fun underwater tent is actually a portable life support system for divers. Yeah, that'd be, Imagine just you have one. to spend a lot of time deep underwater. Sure. For example, to study a rare octopus. But diving with ordinary scuba gear is always inconvenient. Deeper dives always? mean less time on the seafloor because the human body absorbs air faster when it submerges deeper. Keep in mind, you still need to safely it's resurface nitrogen, and not but too that's fast. Okay. The underwater tent addresses all these issues. Oh. Ocean space habitat allows you to save air and hide from potential underwater dangers in an emergency shelter. No problem. That Inside exists. Inside the tent, several divers can get into the dry chamber at the this same time, cool. take this. off their equipment, Completely talk, out. eat, and even sleep really while the cool. tent slowly yeah. and safely rises to the surface. It also creates a dry and protected space to work underwater. Sort of like a... Wait, so this habitat surfaces like ascend it looks like they're raising it from actually the bottom though that's the only part that i don't understand cool but i don't understand like it's tied off on the bottom on what you just yank up the reef with you i guess so. that's the part i don't really care here comes the habitat and the reef yeah no i don't i don't understand I the they mechanics, bolt it but it's to cool. the ocean floor or something i yeah and hmm. it's like a i don't know like a like a system like it's a like pulley an system and yeah. you can just let it let it go up yeah. But, you know, what could possibly go wrong? Diver's office where you can process some samples. Set How's up the current camera, stuff deal like with that? that when it blows <laughs> it According over? To the official project website, there were even underwater tea parties in ocean space habitat. Well, why not? This tent works much like an air bubble. Such a bubble really helps yeah. to survive underwater. In 2013, Harrison Okene spent three days 100 feet deep when his tugboat sank. We reacted. Okene was a ship yeah. cook and wasn't striving to become a conqueror of the depths, but the ship he was on sank to the bottom 20 miles off the coast of Nigeria. Everything happened too quickly and the rest of the crew died and an air pocket formed in one of the rooms. Okene headed there, simply hoped he'd be rescued. And he was, the rescuer saved the poor guy. After that, Thank scientists you. estimated that a person has about 56 hours in an air bubble like that before the carbon dioxide toxicity kicks in. But this is just when the first symptoms appear. Hunt. It'll I'll take about right. 79 hours for a person to pass out. Luckily, rescue came to Okene early. Well, on most the size of, of the bubble. Durafin gloves. Most of them have gr uh, Enough about sad things. There those are exist. many more cool devices for scuba uh, diving. We use those, just so like you know, we use those in classified diving to help people that may not have proper use of their of their legs it, yeah. it's really really awesome that that exists and they can you know use their hands as fins if they and know. swimmers swimmers use it too mm. yeah. now they they put something between their legs so they don't kick and then they have those even for extra drag to work on your muscles mm. on your you know arm cool. muscles yeah, yeah i've taught people that had those types of issues with those before then they work great yeah. gloves webbed gloves oh, made from a lightweight non-absorbent material that provides a perfect grip on well, pretty much anything you want to grab underwater. Surfers, divers, kayakers, and swimmers around the world love these gloves, and they increase hand surface by 
Perhaps even the Bajua people, the sea nomads, would appreciate these <laughs> They're gloves. They're amazing. Bajua feel just as comfortable underwater as most people do on really? land. They walk on the seabed. They're in full control over their breathing and body. They spear fish on the first try, yeah, all of this without any modern scientific inventions, even without wetsuits and flippers. Imagine what the Bajua will be capable of if they get all the devices mentioned in this video. Murfin. While they'd hardly Stop. need Murfin, it's still a great option for those who want to feel like a mermaid. It's like a very light fin specially designed for smooth movement in the water. I love how the none of the fin is describes shown. <laughs> Murfin as a natural extension of the body. Do you notice the fin? <laughs> well, I didn't even see it. <laughs> there it is, the fin. Oh, and okay. um, does that look like the single most inefficient mono fin you've ever seen? <laughs> It's the worst. I mean, there is mono fins for like the mermaid training. You know, they wear that big thing and they have to get trained in it. And you can fly in that thing. I tried it in the pool. I mean, you are flying like, and you've crossed the whole pool. They use a mono fin too on the um, free diving distance records where they go mm. in and like an Olympic pool and then they swim one way and the other. Dude, they do several laps in an Olympic pool underwater. Mm. And they have a monofin that obviously looks nothing like this. I mean, that one. This is. If perfect. they want to send it again, if you want That's... to send us your fin and let me put that baby on and I'll at 20 go feet as fast as I can. 30 minutes I... with a nine cubic feet. I'll try everything at once. Just give me all the stuff that is on here. I'll switch to I the mean, little um, alien looking. But you, do, but you do understand. Just, you know, just basic math. This is not even hard math. Nine cubic feet for 30 minutes. We don't size that cylinder. Did he say? It's like six or nine. Like you can, you you wait, can wait, tell. Wait, 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 wait. You don't know the size of that cylinder. You can tell. Okay. I don't I don't know the size of the cylinder. Okay. I think it's at most nine cubic feet. No, I think it's like a 20. <laughs> Stop. And if it's 20. No. If it's 20, then yeah, even I can stay 30 minutes. But the Dude, problem you is. You can say 30 seconds. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Look. You said with a nine cubic feet. No, I didn't say. Uh, 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 uh. I said, I that's said six with or that nine. cylinder. No. With Stop. that cylinder. Which is nine cubic feet. All right, whatever. You can't stay for 30 minutes. Yeah, I already told With you. With that 20 cubic foot cylinder, I can. Body. <laughs> In case you ever dreamed your body would have a fin, the fin's easily attached to the ankles with straps Chick and can be yeah. easily removed if necessary. Subnado. Of course, a mermaid fin will not grant a swimmer incredible speed, but there are other devices for this purpose, oh. like Subnado. Well, a we use those. underwater scooter. I've used those before, the little ones like that. Yeah. Um, they're fine if you're doing like a little uh, small little dive or, you know, we certainly use them to find the um, megalodon, teeth. megalodon teeth. We actually turn it upside down so it blows the bottom. Blows and then, I, you know, the problem is they're kind of depth limited and they don't go too fast. But it's kind of it's a, a toy. toy. Like we would never, we said the same thing. It's a toy. I mean, I just want to tell you we would never use this as a technical diving yeah. uh, device it weighs only three pounds one charge is enough for an hour of work and the scooter can accelerate up to 4.6 oh feet per second provided that the swimmer weighs less than 143 pounds and if you use two devices at the same well, time the speed will increase to 6.5 feet per so second useful. there are quite a few ways of attaching subnado you can fix the scooter on your legs or even it's on fun. a surfboard. I'll give you and fun. That's fun. And the on your arm, it's controlled by a ring on the finger. I'd be a blast. Today, it may seem there are many devices like that on I the market. Have a but in the 1965 that, but... movie Thunderball, oh, the fourth God. one in the Bond saga, the underwater scooter was part of incredible spy technology. It certainly looked bulkier, but the way it works is pretty much the same. Just think about it. It's only been got some negativity going years, on with you today. You can already reason. buy a secret spy gadget. It'll be a blast to wear that thing. Clicks. <clears throat> New grip four in one. What is going on? If you've on? ever looked at all these beautiful underwater shots and thought these are impossible without professional equipment, then you simply haven't heard about the floating tripod. The new grip four in one is a hand grip, a mini tripod, is, and a twenty-two inch long selfie stick the most beautiful women using the product. That's what, I'm, lowered into that's the what water, I'm It'll float yeah. on the surface, allowing you to capture the underwater world. The entire tripod weighs only 0. 0.3 pounds. What can you film with it? Well, well, the migration of crabs. This is certainly an impressive scene if you want to observe without any distractions. This. In this case, a floating tripod is a perfect option. Diveroid. 
The most important thing in underwater filming is the camera that wouldn't fail. And Diveroid is up to the challenge. It lets you turn your smartphone into an affordable diving computer now, with the functionality of a of compass again, and logbook combined in one device. That's pretty cool. Plus the ability to take photos. Help us live on the water. Diveroid also no monitors all the essential indicators. It measures the depth, duration of the dive, water temperature, and ascending speed. It then displays this information on the smartphone screen in a special app. This app even alerts you if you dive too deep, though it probably won't warn you about an approaching shark. Shark bands. Oh my God! How For many of purpose, these are there? For this purpose, a special Dude, shark one, deterring device works. was designed. Shark bands is Not, a band that losing. targets very yeah, sensitive electronic devices. Yeah, there's no way anybody sharks. makes it to the end of this when one. Oh, I'm was, barely making it to the end of this bands, one. The magnetic waves emitted by the band agitate the receptors the same way that a sudden light turned on Why in the dark irritates a person. Why do we need this product again? I missed it. Sharks, <laughs> of course, are not Wait, happy about this and prefer this? to stay away from humans. Shark get... bands uses magnetic technology, oh, so it doesn't need to be charged. Comes in a one-fits-all size. Things for years. Well, it also passed to protect. <sighs> Okay, Even Barack one. Obama wore this band while on vacation in Hawaii to protect himself. Mm. Though he hardly got any money for promoting this product. If there's anybody still left watching it, these Nobody. are useless. I don't think, I think it's an echo right now. Hello. Hello out there. <laughs> anybody there? <laughs> Nobody's watching this. No, there's no way anybody made it to the end of this one. All right. Let's so just... basically all of our strategy about, you know, keep people on the YouTube video we tried today. The, the contest is, can you make it to the end of this video? That should be the contest <laughs> with us. It's, okay, next. We could be giving back. away $1,000 right now to anyone watching. And yeah, we're good. Right, we're, we're out. We're, no problem. Uh, so, yeah, that was, a, a that was a huge disappointment on all of these things. None of them help us live underwater. So it was total clickbait. We fell for it again. All right. They got us again. Thanks, everybody. However, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Yeah. Because we were just talking about scooters and those fun little scooters, the ones we don't use. We don't use those scooters for the kind of serious dives that we do, like when we went jousting with our scooters, which is very serious sport that we started last year. I mean, that's a we, those are professional DSVs, where you, you know, DPVs. I mean, DPVs. Diver proportional mean, vehicles. Yep. We, we can't use a. Uh... Not a DSV. But it's cool. <laughs> I uh, I think it was cool that we invented DPVs. a new sport. And uh, that was last year. And it just went National Geographic we, did not we, recognize We participated them. in a sport that others invented and told us about. Well, and they're, we made it mainstream. And the others that told us about it, the best part about it that makes me smile so much is they're avid, avid cave divers that followed, you know, strict yeah. cave diving protocol. Yeah. And I love the people that ripped us up about it. And mm. I'm like, well, look who told us about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do we want to do it again? In case you haven't seen us doing jousting inside a cave on DPVs, I'm going to leave the video right here. When's Joust 2? We got to make it. We got to make it happen. See everybody.